So we're going to lay on one side. Let's lay on our right side. So we're going to do some hip stretches here since we're all on the same side. So again, we're focusing on opening up the hips. On the exhale, you can separate the legs completely. So your choice, however high you want to go, you don't have to go too high. And then on the inhale, coming down. Exhale to separate. Inhale to slowly lower. Bring the legs together and let's just relax for a breath. Relax the thighs. You can wiggle the toes. We'll take a big breath in. And on the exhale, slowly roll onto your back. You can keep your knees bent. Soles of the feet come on the mat. And we'll just take a moment here. If you need a move your bolster, you can. So take a moment to focus on your lower back. So I'm going to give you a few options with your legs. You can keep your legs together, or you can bring your feet out wide, knees come in together. That puts some pressure on the lower back. Another option is, <coughs> bless you, is the opposite, which would be soles of the feet together, knees come wide. And there's always the option of being a fly. You don't have to completely be laying down for this. So just find out feels good for your lower back. It's a few options. You can always use your blocks underneath your knees if you want to go out wide, or you can set yourself up a climb. So we're going to focus on the breath. Let's place one hand over our chest, one hand over our stomach. the breath like a wave circling through us as we inhale it's high pulling us back exhale the wave comes crashing down you let it all go you can focus on that visualization if you'd like but we're just trying to keep the breath long and deep big Inhale through the nose, and if it feels good, you can exhale through the mouth, like you're blowing out a candle. Like you're trying to blow wind into a sail. Big breath in as the tide pulls us in. as the wave crashes down. Take a big breath in. And let it all go. So let's bring the legs slowly back together. Feet together, knees together. And then we're going to focus on the legs. So press the left sole of the foot into the mat. We're going to lift the right leg up. So we're going to keep one position with this leg. So you can either have it up completely straight. That puts lots of pressure on the lower back. Or you can have the knee bent. The spine will feel good for you. We're going to hold this for a few breaths. Let's bring the right ankle over the left knee. Right knee comes out wide as we stretch out the hip. We'll just take a few breaths here. Focusing on the breath. 
focus on your spine. Let the mat support your back. Maybe that means scooping your pelvis up just a little bit, making your back flush with your mat. And then your choice, you can use your hands or a strap. We're gonna grab the left thigh. So right hand comes in between the left and right thigh. We're threading the needle. So pick one position for the left leg to be in. We can either bend the left knee or straighten the left leg. Just staying in a neutral position will help put lots of pressure on the lower back. And as we have the right knee out wide, we're stretching out the right hip. So if your shoulders feel tight or tense, feel free to use a strap or grabbing the left thigh here. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, let's release the hands or strap. Bend the left knee and slowly bring the left sole of the foot back down to the mat. Then we're going to bring the right sole of the foot back down to the mat. Let's take a moment to scoop the pelvis up. All four corners of the back are touching the mat. And we're going to do the other side. So rest into the right sole of the foot. Slowly raise the left leg. You can either keep the knee bent or straighten the leg completely, putting lots of pressure on the lower back. Another option is to keep your knee bent but have it a little bit over your chest. Just find what feels good for your lower back. Another big breath in. And on the exhale, let's bring the left ankle over the right knee. And let's take a moment to breathe here as we let the left knee come out wide, stretching out the left hip. So this time, we're going to grab the right thigh, either with hands or a strap. Left hand comes in between the left and right thigh to thread the needle. Wonderful, you can choose whether you have your leg straight or your knee bent. If your shoulders feel tight, you can use the strap that makes our arms longer. breath in and on the exhale slowly release the hands or strap we're going to bend the right knee and slowly bring the right sole of the foot down to the mat and then on your next exhale left sole of the foot comes back down to the mat so you choose your resting position we're going to take a few breaths just as a break so if you'd like your feet out wide knees together do that again. You put your legs together. Find what feels good. Focus on the breath. We can start to make circles with the knees. So we run in to bring the knees up towards the ceiling. Exhale, let's bring the knees down towards your chest, giving yourself a big hug. You can use your hands if you'd like, or you can just let your arms relax. Good. We're giving a little massage. 
doing the sound. Switch the direction of the circle so once you've held your knees into the chest, you can come up the other way. Continue to move with your breath. We'll try to keep the feet side by side, legs side by side. And just finding your range of motion, what feels good. You can make little circles. You can start to make it a little bit bigger. Let's hug our knees into our chest. We're going to bring our arms out wide. All right, we're going to twist. So let's make sure we have enough room. We're all going to twist to the same side. So we should be okay. Let's do the left side first. So just give a glance to your left side. Make sure all your props are out of the way. If the wall's on your side, maybe you can scooch over a little bit. So we'll take a little a big breath in. And on the exhale, slowly bring your knees down to the left side. Option to bring a block under your knees if you don't want to come all the way down. Give a little glance to the right side. If you thought that that was a little bit too much, you can bring your soles of the feet down to the mat. That'll just make the stretch a little less intense. Um, we'll bring our arms out wide. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, knees come down to the right side. Option to bring a block underneath your knees. Bring the soles of the feet down to the mat. And then we're going to lay on our left side so we can do our hip stretch on the other side. Okay. So on your exhale, you're going to separate your legs to stretch out your hips. On the inhale, you can bring them back together. Option to lay your head on your arm. Train your legs to your torso here. 